I didn't know how to do it, but I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to spend my whole life, my whole life trying to figure it out. Seven pounds, nine ounces, your champion is Jacob Wheeler. Your 2012 Forest Wood Cup champion, Jacob Wheeler. He is the youngest BFL All-American champion ever. The youngest Forest Wood Cup champion in history. It, it means the world. It is the biggest thing that's ever happened in my life. He won the second stop at Table Rock. Wow! Unbelievable! Jacob Wheeler makes history! The run continues for Wheeler. No, hey, you know, June's like yeah. a fishing. All right, y'all. Whoa. We're back at it. Another week of bass fishing this time. We're here. You can't really see it. There's like, you know, boom. There you go. That is the lake. Lake Champlain, stage six. Yes, stage number six, and we are staying at one of my favorite places, uh, Marine Village Cottages. It's right up here on the north end of Lake Champlain, one of the coolest places. It's a great view. I'm uh, I'm pumped for this week. You know, uh, last time I had a big event here, had a solid top ten finish. Uh, you know, this is the thing. The cool thing about, about Lake Champlain is this. Two pound minimum this week. There's tons of big, nice large mouth, tons of big large mouth, tons of big small mouth. And the cool thing that I've always just loved about this lake is the diversity of it. You can catch them in grass, you can catch them flipping docks, you can catch them, um, you can catch them on top water, large mouth on frogs, you can catch them uh, small mouth on top water. Uh, it's one of the best top water lakes for small I've ever been on. Uh, it's, it's great out deep, drop shot, Ned rigs, all that good stuff. Literally you could do on this pond right here. Truly my favorite bass fishing lake in the country. One of the best tournament lakes that I've ever been, been out here fishing. So we're gonna see what we got this cottage, okay? We got this cottage number 16. So if you do stay here, you guys know, uh, that we're gonna tell you if it's good luck or bad luck by the end of the week. I'll just let you know. Don't get cottage 16 or cottage 16 is pretty legit. Let's see what we got here. All right, hold on. Key here, key there. Let me see here. Okay, number 16. Give me my name. It opened up. Oh, 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 got caught on it. Uh, we'll catch you I there. say, hey, fish, there we go, right here. Here's the cottage. Hey, kitchen, hey, you wanna cook? Brody is the master chef this week. We have to go uh, go get some, get some food. We are empty right now. So we're not gonna eat a whole lot if we don't uh, stock the fridge up. Got a good little place here. Perfect, this is like the perfect setup for a bass fisherman though. You got two, actually three bedrooms. Holy smokes, this place is big. Roll up in here, got a nice queen size bed. Got a, it's a birdie size bed right there. Hmm. <laughs> hey, birdie, that's this, is your, you can sleep on the couch. Another queen, perfect. Exactly, and then again, look at that. Look at that view, straight to the trees. I'm not looking. I'm not saying about the truck. I'm sorry. Don't don't look at the truck. Don't, I'm just saying behind that. That's the lake. That's cool. That's cool. Just being right here, amongst it all. It's nothing crazy, but this is the perfect setup for a bass fisherman. Perfect setup for a fisherman, or just hanging out. All right, we got some rods to rig. Brody's gonna go run to the dang grocery store. We got to come up with a game plan. How we're gonna attack this big beast. Over here. Letting everybody get out of here. Before. I'm like, I'm sitting here looking at it. And I'm like, all right. I'm normally like first with the ramp. And I'm like, you know what? Just like sit here, make sure all my stuff's done. You're ready to go. But why not? It's gassing out there. It's it, it, it's coon cow. Coon cow. It, I mean, it's, that's just typical. I mean, I'm not worried about the waves. Don't worry. I'm like, I'm not like. I'm just trying to get everything together so that way, like. Sun's not even up. No way. When it, the sun does come up, we're ready. Hey, okay, so what do we got in the cooler? 
What do we got? Water, of course. Always better be the most thing you got. Your cooler. Body arms. I've been on these little low calorie, no sugar added. They're pretty solid, you know. Like a little something a little bit different. And then of course somewhere I got a red one. That is what is in the igloo today. We're ready to go. Start the morning off with a jig. All right. Equipment stick. Dipping stick. Let's see what we got. Water clarity. Looks pretty good. Large mouth. Little large mouth. First one in the morning. I don't think these large mount they're gonna be that big a deal personally you gotta think but i wanted it it's winds blowing pretty hard right now and so i just want to like just fish around for some large mount because i feel like you have to have a safety when you need a bite so and i wanted to see if there's a lot of two two plus pounders two and a half or are they a lot of like pound and a halfers and that stuff so Little one. Not the mama. Another little one. Sorry, lady, but sorry, buddy. Here we go. 163. Baby. So far, we have had a handful of bites. Nothing crazy, nothing to be um, really super pumped about. Caught um, quite a few small, large mouth, non scorables, pound and three quarters, um, even some pound and a half first. Caught a few random three pounders. Um, it's not, um, it's not easy. And then I went smallmouth fishing, and I just don't think they're quite um, as shallow as I've been fishing. I've been fishing, you know, that mid depth zone. So. Uh, wind is definitely blowing, and you can, you can sort of tell. Uh, I'm sort of going with them right now, so it's not too bad. But it's definitely makes it hard to move around when the wind's blowing like this, especially on a big body of water. If you ever fish a big body of water, you know uh, the wind is not your friend. Now, some some situations the wind is your friend, but big giant bodies of water makes it very difficult to run around and find some fish. We're gonna go back to large map fish just for a little bit. Hopefully this wind dies down and then we can be a little bit more efficient on some of these deep water smallmouth uh, and see where they're at. You know, they, they gotta be somewhere. So let's go try to find them. Heck yeah. Top water fish. See what he is. Oh, he choked it too. Yeah. Top water bass in the middle of the day. Oh, there you go. Ooh, choked it. Golly. All right, let me get it in. Some pliers out. That's something in right there. Choked it. Nice. Two and a half pounder, probably. Two and three quarter. Two and three quarter. Thanks, buddy. A lot of grass right here and so basically which is a big grass expansive grass flat um so i'm just trying to cover it it's pretty it's still submerged but it's just underneath the water so it's sort of like tough to throw like a maybe vibrating jig i mean you probably could but uh so i figured i just throw the top water for a second that one crushed it that's cool i would have sort of anticipated a smallmouth to be on this place Try to get you on. Oh, I got him one, all right. Two, three, two. Flip 
open a jig for smallmouth. That's all right. Let's go. Doinky. Good, everybody. Whew. All right, then. That might have been random as all get out. That's what it looked like to me. Most random bite ever. Flip a weed. Doinky smallmouth. Let's see. Giant large mouth. Holy smokes. Big giant. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, big. Oh, come off. That was big. Yeah, four and a half pounder. Four and a half pounder. See you later, buddy. Okay. Let's get out of here and try to see if we can't get the logo special or do some work. We did the large mouth thing and basically just caught a whole bunch of random singles here and there. Never found a group, and that's a tough thing. You know, typically the large mouth, this time of year, you can find a group of them, but I just never did. Got a few bites, nothing crazy. Throw this logo special a little bit for some small mouth and see what we can come up with. This is what they are eating though. Perch. Best thing, in my opinion, probably the best cold water fish, probably best freshwater fish I've ever had. Perch. Well, we officially found the perch hole. Perch and hole. You were just a little bit longer. Suckers are mean. Golly, they get mean on a jerk bait. Just stole my stuff and just threw it right back at me. Okay, then. And tangled me up. Alright, let's get a waypoint on that. Just got another one. Just got another one right here. There's a group of them right here. boats around solid we're still out here grinding um have not figured it out today caught a few fish uh, out deep and caught a few fish out good combination of it all no set pattern i can't figure out exactly the the depth zone that i want to target I, I definitely have caught fish from two foot of water to 32 foot of water uh, they seem scattered but that just might be because we have not found a group of them i think i caught a caught one and i see a couple fish with it but it's hard to get another bite so you, sometimes you just gotta like rotate on stuff I, I, I don't know we're gonna have to sort of figure it out we got a couple more minutes before before we have to run in but uh i don't know it's been tough on your boy we'll get after all right y'all we are finishing up tackle i feel like i've been ringing tackle for the last probably three four hours for real it's like eight holy it's been three hours I can second that. <laughs> three hours i can second that because i was on the phone i'm staying right over here a couple houses down and i look out here probably about four hours ago and jake is out here and i was like oh, i'll go talk to him here we are four hours later so so this guy doesn't need an introduction the goat jordan lee so again reels them up 
one of the Trying greatest fishermen blood. of our time, straight up. <laughs> Jordan Lee, I swear. He's blowing guys, smoke, folks. Hey. He's blowing smoke. I'm <laughs> no, to get I some not. Good luck. I'm rubbing on Jacob's reels over here. <laughs> he's got an old crusty reel right here. I'm trying to rub on it. See how he's tying his knot. <laughs> trying Man, to figure out. out here. Looking Listen. at his rod lockers, you know, see what <laughs> juice he's got. <laughs> We gonna have a little bit of fun, that's for sure. And oh, we yeah. got uh, we got some work to do tomorrow. We do. Big now we gotta go find some bass. Thankfully, O'Champy now Champlain can be can be a uh, a little bit bumpy out there. Have you been out there on it some looks, days? Yeah, I've been out there on some rough days. <laughs> One or two I can remember. Some bumpy days. It can get rough. I definitely have two. It's it's like there's it's a little bumpy. Yeah, maybe it'll be nice to us this week. I'm hoping so. It's you, calm right now. You've had quite a few. You've had quite a few tournaments. Uh, you've done really well here. Yeah. We yeah, caught it la last okay. time. We both made a yeah, top ten. We're fishing a couple of the same holes. Reeling a couple in. Yeah. And it was fun. Uh, I mean, it'll, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. You know, obviously we're here later in the year. Yeah. A couple weeks later than we were last yeah. time. And. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, obviously, hey, I mean, it seems well, I'm, like I'm the, in the jacket right now, though. Golly, you just you're just it's so not, used to that heat, aren't you? I know, man. It's like a it's freezing up here right now. <laughs> I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying it though. It's good. People got fires. I mean, it's it's we cool. We need to start a fire right now, Brody. You know how to start yeah. a fire? What the heck? hey? Yeah, I can get one started. Brody, it should be fun though. I'm look, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we are. It's gonna be a it's a, it's gonna be one of them deals that you're gonna have to reel them in. I don't think it's gonna be the St. Lawrence. Yeah. You know, I don't think it's going to be the St. Lawrence weights. I just don't think that's that's going to be what it is. Yeah. But uh, I think it's going to be... It'll be close. You think it is? Well, I don't know. I mean, not super close, but I mean, it's going to still take... It's going to still take some weights. Oh. Oh, it's going to There'll be a couple. I think there'll be a guy or two over 100. In a day, yeah. I think it's possible for sure. <laughs> I, I can see that. I can see all that. And that's a lot. But I've like I've done that. You've done that a bunch. <laughs> you like a hundred, a hundred pounds a lot. I've gotten a ninety. Oh, you like that? A couple you? times. Ninety in the nineties, but that's a lot of fish. A hundred eight pounds, you're reeling them suckers, man. You better have a dang good average. You better be reeling in some dang three and a half, four pounders. And yeah. often. There's a lot of three and a half pounders in the slate though. Yeah. There's a lot. Like a lot. The, yeah, if you get on the right little wad of them. You could that's what we're hoping. <laughs> we're just hoping hey, we're, that is what we are hoping for. Oh, I'm going to rig up this dang rods. We're going to get out there and get on it first thing in the morning. The boys are slacking. They're coming in late. We'll see uh, We'll see if we can't go find us a few. JoJo's just got to be easy on me this week, all right? Hey, you ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to worry about me. I'm still just trying to rub and see how he's... Spoiling his braid, you know. <laughs> it's about the little things, people. It's all about the little minute details. <laughs> oh my gosh. Boys. Pizza. There we go. Throw a couple pieces of pizza on there. Call it good. It's a long day in the palm. A long day. It was, it was solid. It's okay. If you guys a little bit of rundown went down. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to enjoy this pizza though. I know that. <laughs> then I'm going to go to bed, get up early, and we have one more day of practice to dial them in. Hmm. Caught a lot of bass, but the problem was there were a lot of randomness. Like you catch ones, like big one. There's a lot of random big ones, which is nice sometimes but we just got to do that in the tournament some random big ones you know what i'm saying <laughs> golly i'm real all right y'all good morning i'll tell you what this is the thing you know I, i'll go through all this stuff and i'll tell you this bait that deal whatever you know we, we talk about fishing all the time but like taking a moment to appreciate what i get to do for a living i i'm gonna be honest with you i've I've made the mistake of not doing that enough, taking the time. Man, it's beautiful out here. The weathers are nice. Sun's coming up. I mean, just how fortunate I am to be a pro bass fisherman and be able to do something I love to do is, um, I, I, I'm not taking that for granted, that's for sure. I, I have to realize how awesome that is. Anyway, back to the fishing side. 
Um, we are going to go try to find some smallmouth out deep. Deep is a relative term. A lot of times they're um, deep, what I would say anything deeper than 20 feet would be considered deep. Um, but they get up to 45 feet here. So let's go run around and see if we can't find us a few. Um, conditions are good. We gotta find a group. I can get you on top. So we were gonna catch him smallmouth. We did. We got him. Biggest one. Wow. Yeah. Monster. Monster bass. All right, we got it. <laughs> First one of the morning. Let's not catch a whole bunch like that today. But we gotta start somewhere. I do. I do think sometimes we do not appreciate the little ones like we should, like the little ten inches and stuff. I mean, that dude. They're mean. I mean, they're future future big ones potentially i mean we sometimes we just gotta take a moment and appreciate the little guys i mean come on guys don't you agree come on i think so I'm not sure. went large mouthing for a second and that's the problem with large mouth and you get a bite seems to be of that caliber right there Buy it anyway. Alright. Whew. Finally got us a score. I don't think that large mouth deal is the way to go. If you can find a group, it's all good. But keep moving around. We'll see. We'll flip it around just for a little bit longer. And then I think I gotta we gotta we gotta try to make them small mouth work. There's another one. Y'all, in another bite. That wasn't. I was probably 50 feet away from the other one. Another. Nothing to be found, nothing found so far. Golly, I gotta find a region that it's going down in. Gotta be a zone. Gotta keep going. We have to self monitor if you have COVID. You tested, you're not COVID if you have it. Yeah. Yeah, I got COVID. 
Yeah. Which, at this point, dude, I, I mean, that kind of thing's right. I ain't really worried about COVID this whole time, but I just know so many young people that are sick as shit about that. Yeah. Where now I'm like, maybe, uh, maybe I need to be careful. Dude, it freaking, you gotta be really careful. You gotta be very careful, dude. I'm trying to get that stuff to come off. Got me a bath. Exactly what I did, too. Yeah, so you found him. But he's a bass. He's a bass. He's a bass. Feels like a win for me. <laughs> I got the pull on one. Dude, no joke. All right, well, I'm gonna get my crap together. I'm gonna try to get my crap together. Sort of get, you, got, you caught you one on a flatworm, huh? Yeah, I'm a flatworm. Flatworm's where it's at. It's the only way you can get in the bike. <laughs> it's the only option. Well, that's something you see don't see every day. Huh. Okay then. There he is. Graft him up. I only see one down there though. And a lot of nice, ooh, it's a nice one. Okay then. Okay then, mister. Mister, mister. Okay, come on up here. I ain't trying, see the thing is, these, these big small mouth, they're isolated. They're out here, but it's hard to catch a, a limit of them for sure. Oh my gosh, man, I got too much wine out. Come on up here, please, sir. Please, sir, come on, come on. Uh uh. Ah, nice one. I didn't even know he had it, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Do some dang surgery real quick here. Stop eating drop shots. All right, had to do a little surgery, but that's a nice one right there. Beautiful fish. Single. See you later, buddy. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's go back after them. See if there's any other ones around. I don't think there is, but we'll see. Okay, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. The screw. Is it this little screw? Or this is on this side. What's it, what, what do you need on it? Flat blade. A flat? Even if I just grab a, you know, fly, fly. All right, y'all. That is a wrap for practice. We just got back here to the cottage, hanging out. Man, beautiful night though. Flat calm, dead flat calm. And uh, we got a uh, got our work work cutouts for us. We caught we caught a few bass. Some of them we got on on GoPro. Some of them we didn't. Brody. Rolled out, caught a couple large mouth, a couple small mouth. Seems like the small mouth are a better average for sure. It's always been that way on this lake, but typically you can generate more bites up here than um, than I have. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm we're not. We got a day off tomorrow, so Group A um, goes tomorrow, and we are Group B. So I would assume it'd be interesting to see what the weights are looking like. I I don't think. I mean, I fish here a lot in like June and late July. Um, but it, it just seems like this place is just a little off for whatever reason, whatever reason. I think you can catch a, uh, you know, not as, as far as the numbers go, the quality is still there, but the numbers, um, seem to be, uh, down from when even I was here in June. I mean, I was getting 40, 30, 40, 50 fish days 
pretty consistently um, to now it's it's you know seven, eight, nine, ten bass. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm gonna rig a couple rods, hang out, enjoy the sunrise, and uh, come up with some sort of some sort of game plan. Something. <laughs> What's that smell? Salmon. Someone's cooking salmon. Alright y'all, this is where we close it out. We are tomorrow's first day of the tournament. You guys saw a little bit of practice. Didn't get a real good idea. Champlain, it's one of my favorite lakes. Best tournament bass fishing lake. I've, I've said this several times in the country. But uh, man, it's been stingy on me. We're going to see what happens. Right now I'm going to give you an update before I roll out here. And see what we got. It's right now leading matt lee congratulations matt lee 91 pounds obliterating the field by the way 91 pounds of bass um second place is 41 so wow congratulations my man <laughs> reeling them in at will um and then the cut right now is 21st place or 21 pounds total so um hey we're going to see uh we're gonna see if we can't reel a couple in this week. We're gonna try to try to try to pull a couple out for Mark in DC. Well, I think Adrian's gonna roll in tonight. I gotta, I'll, I'll tell you all the good stuff at the next video. We appreciate y'all watching. We out.